be fun to see where we started. And this was like one of the first things we ever printed on, on our X1C. very first X1C, right. very, very first bamboo lab. And then it slowly goes up to, you know, our bigger maps. So. It's amazing. Look how much that scales. Right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see what you got. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, dragon. oh it's hanging on by a claw. All right, we are here officially at Dragon Mountain on the giant scale RC crawler course where this is the maximum size that was allowed and this was the biggest rock we could possibly print. Now we have it scaled up to massive rocks and a huge crawler course for our 10th scale crawlers and Abby from down under is ready to drive the course. <laughs> Hang on. All thanks to the brand new H2S baby. <laughs> Are you ready Abby? Ready. We're gonna see if we can conquer the 10th scale crawler course with even the duck on the Jeep and Abby. As you're prepping to drive, I see you're making some adjustments. Have you guys noticed any creepy crawly critters down in the rocks? Or even someone hiding back here around the corner? Ah, Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Abby, let's see what you got. Tenth scale crawler course, straight off of a printer in one piece. We did not slice them. We didn't put them together. That is straight off the print bed. We might have to add some weight to the bottom of them because now we're dealing with big, heavy crawlers. This is actually amazing! A duck! Duck down! We have a duck down! And the the power of the 10th scale crawler course is pulling the baby piece apart. Can it handle crawling up on this giant rock? Yes, we can. We just have some adjustment to make. There you go. Nicely done, Abby. She's digging in. I think Spider ate it. After a few course modifications, we are back. And if you didn't know this, Abby, the name of the game is to knock off the queen of the mountain back there off of Crystal Rock. If you do, then you get a secret special prize. Oh, you did. You took her out. That was insanely fast. So hold on. Come here. I have a prize for you. You have a prize for me? It is the Golden Egg Thank you. Award. I love it. It's the very golden, pretty. Golden Egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I take out the Queen of the Mountain? By the way, that was my first print ever on the H2S. I just needed to test it to see if it worked. And guess what? It does. All there right, Nate. Can you do any better than me? Of unlikely, course not. Unlikely. With crawlers, you tend to dominate, don't you? Always. It's been forever since we've driven this. This is the OG. Look at that look of concentration. Or uh, something else. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah. Oh, dragon. oh it's hanging on by a claw. And Off of the, the ramp. ramp. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go. Over Bigfoot, can I do it? There's really, I need two rocks here so I can get some really good grip. Guys, these big rocks take a while. Sorry, Bigfoot. But it is so worth it. I love the huge prints so far. Oh, you almost rolled it. Tip of the iceberg on what Come the possibilities on. are. I'm trying to get my right wheel up don't on that big choke. rock. I just want to get up on that crystal rock. But Abby, I don't know if I can unless I punch it. So let's punch it. Let go. Oh, yeah, okay. That'll count. Right into the wall. That'll count. <laughs> Abby's having too much fun just setting up the course. <laughs> she put <laughs> broken wiener dog in. It lost its leg in the mountain. Oh, okay. This has turned into a rescue mission now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I thought it would be fun to see where we started. And this was like one of the first things we ever printed on, on our X1C. very first X1C, right. very first bamboo lab. And then it slowly goes up to, you know, our bigger maps. So. It's amazing. Look how much that scales. Right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see what you got. Thank just take it. This just, four -wheel drive. just going down memory lane here. There we go. Rescue that wiener dog. Hold on, hold on, poor wiener dog. Oh, here. Gonna be in the leg. Okay, there we go. And we're going to the vet, so don't spill the beans. It's amazing. Now we get into the big challenging rocks. And if we had those actually oh and you saved the wiener dog, took out the dragon, evil queen. You I did win. it. You did it. I mean, that was a lot of fun, but guys, in case it wasn't stupidly obvious enough, look at the size difference of some of the things that we were able to make just for RC alone. Now, I want to hear from you in the comments below. Give us some of your best ideas for things to scale up. 
I already have more project ideas for video content in the pipeline to work on down the road. I've got some really good ideas actually that I'm excited to share with you, so be sure to subscribe. But if we use your idea in the comments, we'll give you a shout out in our next video as well. So help us come up with some great ideas to scale up the world of RC with this massive H2S. Now, if you're shopping and you're thinking, what's the difference between the H2S and the H2D? Really, it's the price. It comes down to having that massive print bed with the ability to scale things up like this. Look at the Dragon alone. That is 185% bigger, making no modifications or no extra stretching effort to make it actually bigger, just straight scaled up off of a free file that's on the Bamboo Handy app, which I think is amazing. Now these we bought specifically from someone so that we could do this crawler course and you can too. But the H2D has two extruders, two print heads and the ability to does do lasers. Does the D stand for dual? dual. You're, you're exactly right, it sure wow. does. At least I think it does. <laughs> In our it, world it does. And H2S for single, right? So that's, I think that's how they came up with the name. But the print size is relatively the same, but this one is actually ever so slightly bigger than the H2D, I think because it only has the one print head. So this one has the ability to get the cost down. I don't know if you've caught on to this yet or not, but there is only a $250 price difference. If you can swing the price of the X1C, set aside $250 more and get the H2S. I don't know how they're doing that because people's People's predictions of the price of this were actually somewhere along the lines of five to seven hundred dollars higher than what they're actually bringing it in at. So that was my my prediction was like almost yeah, three thousand. Me too. We didn't get the price until just a couple days like ago. So uh, we were very very surprised by that. Check out that size difference where we were limited to exclusive twenty fourth scale. X one C. Yes. H two S. Yes. That is so crazy. Okay, yeah. X1C H2S. Isn't that amazing? Also, just bring it over here. This is the biggest one we printed on the H2S. That Aww, was done on the H2S so as well. On that mountain. Like, just compare those. That's and that's not even the smallest one we did, but that was one of the bigger ones. That is insane to me. <laughs> I think, I think they knocked it out of the park. Good job.